Hi, welcome to our videos. I'm Peter Loshek, Senior Next News, Mike Brenner. This is the College Basketball Odds Couple Show for the final four in college basketball. Mike Brenner, we got uh, finally two here, games. buddy. It's finally here, and I'll tell you what, Mike Brenner, I uh, looking at these final four teams. I did not have these final four teams in my bracket. No, I, I, I looked around. I'm Where, still looking, I'm looking for Kansas. Where's and, Kansas? Exactly. What where's the Michigan hell? State? Damn I mean, even Virginia before Syracuse yeah. I would have picked. But, hey, my hat's off to Bayheim. He knows how to coach, gets his guys ready. Uh, I don't know. Dude, you want me to admit something that's like really embarrassing? Yeah, go ahead, Pistol Pete. In my, nothing in, to lose, in my, baby. In my, in my heritage bracket, well, I could embarrass myself a little bit. So in my heritage bracket, I, in my heritage bracket, I picked Dayton over Syracuse. Oh my God! Okay. I think Syracuse. You might not have been the only one though. To Dayton. Because right, oh, that sure, was a bubble team. Yeah, I'm sure. Right? Was, I'm sure that was 50-50. The, the, but you know the satisfaction nice. I have though is for Bayheim and the boys to get able to look at the committee and go, guess what? Yeah. Yeah. You almost fucked up. Yeah. Oh, excuse well, me. Well, I, I, I did have uh, Nova and UNC going deep, so that was good. Okay. But uh, yeah, Syracuse. I did not see. Some people probably did, and that's good. It, it seems like uh, like every year there's one team that's like you always want to pick one team where people like they shouldn't even be in the tournament yeah. and pick that team to go to the final. Of course. Four. Dead right, you'll win your brackets. But yeah. all right, we got two games here. Let's debate them. Uh, you know the uh, the lines are uh, there. Could be some value to be had. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see what you have to say. Oklahoma, Villanova, Villanova, of course, uh, shooting as I mentioned yesterday in our Periscope, shooting uh, a lower percentage of three pointers than they shot during a regular season. That has served them well. Oklahoma is still very reliant on the three. This game, to my eye, could go either way. Oh we have God, Villanova minus two, one. and the total is uh, basically 145 all over the place. What do you think? Mike it, it's a tough one, buddy. It's a tough one. And I promised. I thought I saw Oklahoma at one time. Fade for this game, but uh, whatever, uh, Oklahoma getting two points. They all right, this, These teams met in the Maui Classic, and it was a beatdown from start to finish. Oklahoma yeah. just owned them, 20 points. But again, Nova then was funneling in three freshmen who have grown up since then. Jay Wright is a player's coach. He's going to have his boys ready, but it's just something about mm -hmm. all year I, in my head is these four guys that have played three full seasons, started every game together. I just got a feeling they're going to want it more than mm -hmm. Nova. I just think so. And with that being said, I'm, I'm taking the underdog. I'm going with an underdog, Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete, I like it. Oklahoma plus two. Plus two. Yeah. All right. I mean, I, I just, yeah. yeah. My, my personal lead would be towards Villanova, but I'm not going to bet him at minus two. That's for damn sure. Okay. And I'm not going to give him a pick in this one, uh, in this okay. video. That's for damn sure. But uh, Oklahoma plus two, and you're not interested on a first half plus one. Not there, like no, not at all. But I do have them on a two-team teaser. Ah, so. Okay. And now let's move on to the other game, Syracuse and UNC. Now, this is interesting because, of course, they played twice. Yeah. Uh, you know, so so UNC knows what to expect. So to Syracuse, yeah. uh, the zone is something that That was a tight played. game, too, first time out. Yeah, both of them were tight uh, in the first half. And yeah. then uh, UNC won both. They didn't blow them out. They won yeah. one by five, won the other one by 11. Yeah, 11 and, was uh, a... you know, the first half here is uh, is UNC minus five and a half. And uh, the first halves and the first two games at home, UNC won by four on the road. It was tied. So maybe yeah, uh, Syracuse uh, at plus five and a half might be uh, worth a shot on the first half. The full game line is nine or nine and a half. This another one where um, if I had to make a bet, I would take maybe a shot with Syracuse on the first half, plus five and a half. I'm not going to bet it, though. That's but if an I had interesting to give a pick, call. That's, that's what it would probably be. Play. What do you have to say about this? Well, you just nailed it. I don't think I could have done it any mm -hmm. better. And I mean that, Pistol Pete. Those two times they met Syracuse, and they were then they weren't even you know valued as a team that was going to go far. They just really played that lockdown defense. Yeah. There's something about that defense. That might be a good call. I'm not touching that first half. I'm mm -hmm. staying away. The only way I'm utilizing UNC is on a two-team teaser. That's okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, UNC he does uh, yeah, actually, I kind of I mean, like And I it. almost pulled the trigger and took Syracuse plus nine and a half. I mean, mm -hmm. God, yeah. they get to this level. It didn't happen by a fluke. You know, these young kids, they want to play as best as it's they right. can. This is their Super Bowl. Didn't happen by a fluke. The first two games were relatively close. God, that didn't happen by a yeah. fluke Why either. is it uh, nine and a half? What's well, up with that? I mean, I, I think if you look at their at the way their games went, it, it it's roughly makes sense. UNC won one game by five, the other game by 11. So yeah, but the UNC one by five was on a neutral court. I'm sorry? The five the five point win was on a neutral right, court. Right, right, right. So I'm saying here we are again, neutral court. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you I, might be right. I you might be right that Syracuse. And has I may it. be wrong. I would I would lean that way myself. I'm saying uh, the when, when I see the line, it doesn't not make sense to me. I yeah. think that okay. uh, I think that UNC does have a talent edge and also the uh, the element of surprise. They've played them twice, so you know they've know yeah. they know what to expect. Yeah. Uh so you know, I I wouldn't I wouldn't so want to be getting uh, against the UNC. An interesting here. article today on Roy Williams, the coach of UNC. There's some people saying this vertigo, he's he's got some issues. He fainted mm -hmm. almost at mm -hmm. halftime, and mm -hmm. he's, he's really had some health issues that if he wins the big one, he might walk away from the game. Don't know yeah. if it's true, but anyway, it's interesting. UNC, I think 
that Beheim might he's capable of out coaching Roy yeah, Williams. Yeah, I like UNC here, but if there's no way I'm going to bet him, and if I had to give a pick, I probably would be leaning towards yeah. Syracuse and much Couldn't more say so it on any the better first than that, half. Uh, so, so you're going to pass on on that game as far as the straight bets. Concerned. Absolutely. All right, but you're going to give a teaser. Tell us what that I is. I like the teaser. I'm going with Oklahoma mm -hmm. getting four on top of the two. Give me Oklahoma six. plus six because I think they're going to get the outright win. And you and, and I know most of betting America and the public and so forth is all over Nova, but I got to go with Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking UNC chopping off four off the nine and a half because I think well, minus it's, five well, it's and nine, a half. It's nine or nine and a half. Mark I want to take the nine. Uh, yeah. so, exactly. So that'll be minus five. Okay. So yeah, that's what I like. Tar Heels minus the five and Oklahoma Sooners getting six. Pistol Pete, all I right. like it. Listen, uh, you know, uh, your analysis is very sound. As always, Mike Brenner, your record speaks for, himself, for itself. Me personally, I, as always, I might make some second half bets on these two he games. He will. There's I'm going to get him to be doing Twitter you know, soon. And there, so. I'm not going to have any full game or first half bets, so I'm not going to give a pick in this hey, video. I'm not Although try I could, to force it or pull and if it I had to, I, I would give uh, Syracuse first half. But what I do want to do on air is thank you for following through and manning up on your bet, paying oh, it yeah. off nicely, chicken wings and some beers at lunch. Oh, no, no. I, I only, I only uh, welch out and screw people if I have an exit strategy. If I have to work with someone, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Jesus God, that. I you know love what his I mean? honesty. So, I love this guy. Yeah. He's a maniac, a freaking <laughs> no, maniac. Getting around. I don't hey, it was that. great though doing the whole season with you. I'm looking forward. We're going to be back <laughs> Monday. We won't be on tomorrow, but Monday we will have the odds couple show for the big, big, uh, the big game. Obviously, the national championship Monday night. So tune okay, in. Okay, sounds and good. I'm thinking. Hey, I'm thinking it's going to be North Carolina and Oklahoma. Oklahoma. You baby. might be right. We'll yeah. see. Great show.